a YouTuber named Adrian Bustamante documents yet another night of paranormal activity in his apartment to prove once and for all it's haunted. There are a few different paranormal videos on his channel, but March 9th of 2017 is when the best paranormal evidence yet is caught on camera. He doesn't have ghost hunting equipment, but he is still able to pin down the supernatural activity to one corner of the room. It isn't long before he gets all of the paranormal proof he needs. Odd. It looks like the object's moving by itself, but at 1 minute and 45 seconds, I'm almost positive there's a string tied around the bottom of the glass vase. My overall analysis is that Adrian's probably moving the object himself, but your opinion can help me decide if this paranormal evidence is fake or real. When this woman's ex bewitched her, a powerful seer helped extract her from his spell. YouTuber Alberto Del Arco shares this mysterious video. First, the seer does something sort of magic around the woman. <laughs> The woman seems to become overwhelmed as the ritual continues. As it progresses, the woman appears to expel something from her. In fact, she seems to be dry heaving. <coughs> Did the seer relieve her of her ex's dark magic? It looks to me that something powerful happened here. It was even made physical. I believe that her ex no longer holds any power over her. Mohammed bin Name has caught a flurry of weird things on camera that I think needs to be more closely examined to see if it's paranormal. He chooses to investigate the slamming door in the room ahead instead of the breaking glass downstairs. It looks like a ghost is slamming the door, but look again. Approximately 29 seconds is when you can see him try to grab the door unseen, but unintentionally showing his hand in the process. He is slamming the door himself, I'm 99% sure. This video, while possibly fake, is important to show because I think it could shed light on the other ghost hunting videos like this. The camera person could be reaching out with their hand and slamming the door, but I guess we'll never know for sure. Ghost at the manor. After the residents of this manor kept experiencing paranormal activity, YouTube team Exploring with Fighters was invited here to investigate. Dan initiates the investigation by informing the spirits about the paranormal devices being used. He invites them to communicate with the team, and they do. There's also something behind that door in the bathroom. If you go near it, oh, it will go off and let us know that you're here. Thank you. They hear another device go off in a separate room. Oh, Rampod's going off. No one's in there as well. This spirit seems to have stage fright. Still, he triggers the Rampod again. I'm just gonna go and grab my other camera. Yeah. Oh. oh. Rampot's going off. Oh, I can't. What's up? Oh, oh, this time it goes off for an extended period of time, and then it seems the spirit moves into the bathroom. What the f What is that? Oh, that was the thingy. Movement sensor in the bathroom. Really? Whoa! Hold on a second. Look. It's coming. It's just died. 
But the triggered devices aren't the only evidence the team leaves with. They also take these mysterious Polaroids. A second Polaroid captures more spirit figures in the window panes. What do you think of these captures? Well, I can see what the team sees. I think that could just be our collective minds playing tricks on us. But considering all the activity triggered on the paranormal devices in this old manor house, I also tend to believe that something is here. Whether it's the Mad Monk or not is anyone's guess. Number 5. Beware of the Shadows when at Donovan Mill, the historic mining site in Silver City, Nevada, has a reputation and it's not a good one. At least one documented incident of someone taking their own life has been recorded there. Perhaps it's the spirit from this unfortunate history that lingers in the mill. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Facts by James TV writes, At 24 minutes 30 seconds you could see a shadow-like figure down the hallway. At the very same space it is known to be haunted by a spirit named John that is very protective about that area. At the timestamp in question, you can see what James is talking about. He said he felt a presence, so they stopped and shined the flashlight down at the end of the hall. A small shadow figure appears there. Casting light down that way doesn't make it disappear. What do you think about this creepy catch? Would you have the guts to venture down the hall to investigate? Cliff Hall. This video is taken near the Pearl Tower in Shanghai, China. The forecast is clearly cloudy and thunder can be heard in the distance. It appears people began recording when they saw someone who appears to be levitating or hanging off the tower. Suddenly, there's a surge of lightning, and it appears this person acts as a lightning rod because he's shocked numerous times by the lightning. But the man is fine and stays suspended in midair. I couldn't find any additional information on the incident. So it appears we'll never know what happened to this individual beyond the recording of this video. If this video is real. This video was published to YouTube in July of 2007 with the title, Dragon Was Caught Sight Of by Infrared Rays. This video appears to show the ghostly smoky figure of a long creature fly through the air from the top to the bottom of the frame. Modern scholars suggest that crocodiles might be the closest to resemble a dragon, and maybe what informed its imagery. Or maybe this creature is something else completely, and just somewhat resembles a dragon. Nothing else like this has been caught on the security camera since. These friends are staying at a hotel when they see flashing lights coming from the bathroom mirror and hear rumbling noises on the other side. It sounds like a classic haunted hotel setting at first, but when they take the bathroom mirror and flip it around, they see two holes that look to me like someone was spying on them. Scratches here and here that you can see directly through the mirror. Directly through. But this situation gets way more intense than just a peephole. Much to their surprise and horror, there was also a rectangular hole cut into the wall leading directly into the next room over. Whoever cut this hole could literally climb through the wall anytime they wanted to, day or night. They could silently watch the group in the mirror to know when they were leaving, then climb through to mess with their stuff. Or worse still, they would know when you were about to go to bed and could enter while they were all asleep to do who knows what. I don't know how any of this ended, but I do know their lives could have been at risk if they didn't discover this in time. I think this situation is real, because I don't think they would destroy a hotel wall just to make a video. Hopefully they called the police and caught whoever invaded their privacy. This witch is up to no good. Published by Zona Paranormal Veracruz in December of 2021, this scary video starts with a flash. I gotta keep on this. While in this graveyard, the man appears to have happened upon a ritual being performed. A 
A figure is speaking and making this fire come to life. Later, amongst the mausoleums, the man hears that strange voice again in the darkness. Followed shortly by a high-pitched, sing-song voice. The man then falls forward hard, pushed by an unseen force. He sees a ghostly figure from a distance approaching him. And then it's too close for comfort. <laughs> the fire is blazing again, and upon approaching the fading flames, the cameraman sees a witchy woman hunched over departing. Señora, señora, solo vengo a explorar, no vengo a hacer daño. Allá adentro, allá adentro una sombra, allá adentro una sombra, allá adentro, allá adentro. What sort of ritual was this witch performing? This cameraman might find out in his days to come. Jin YouTuber Hassan Barbar is dealing with a very aggressive Jin in this scary video. First, he hears it hissing. Oh. It's not. He pursues the jinn throughout the abandoned place, but it manages to keep just out of sight. <laughs> but he's painfully close. <laughs> there is sound around every turn. But as of yet, no sign of him, that is, until... He gets closer and closer to it, until it vanishes. Where did the jinn go? Wherever it went, I hope it didn't take our souls with it. Number 6. Will you expect to find some creepy stuff in an abandoned funeral home? Abandoned remains are probably not among the usual suspects. Published to YouTube by RNK All Day in March of 2020, the channel writes, We found ashes inside an abandoned funeral home that was condemned due to the funeral director leaving and hiding bodies. It was located in North Carolina. It was closed down in 2012 after client complaints. The funeral home's former owner was put behind bars for not burying the individuals. RNK All Day explores this home and its unnerving history. Amongst the creepy things found inside are Polaroids of the passed on individuals and a squatter's bed made up inside the building. But of course, the most unsettling thing they encountered was a bag of ashes in a torn cardboard box. According to a timestamp on the box, they were from 1995, meaning they've remained there for over two decades. Let's hope they finally received a proper burial. Footsteps. When you hear footsteps in a place like this, run. YouTube team, Three Spires Paranormal, have left a steady cam recording inside this haunted property, and this is what it captures. Here it is, louder this time.
But it's not just ghosts that these guys have to worry about. Hello? Oh, sorry. You off your ghosts? Well, we're just leaving. Right, okay, nice one, yeah? Yeah, sorry about that. I don't want to throw the torch at you, mate. No, that's right, that's right. Luckily, this encounter ends with positive vibes, but to me, it's a reminder that one should be sure they're not trespassing, even if the place is a hollowed out ghost haunt. I've got a challenge. A YouTuber named Joe Hall takes to the streets in search of the supposedly supernatural black-eyed ghost children who come out at 3 a.m. This trek eventually turns into a long walk along the railroad tracks in the middle of the night. They are just about to give up when one of them spots a small piece of white fabric flapping in the bushes. Oh my god. What is that thing? We gotta get out of here, man. That thing right there, you see it? Yeah, well, why are we here? Let's though? go, let's, let's go. From the shadows comes a person draped in a white gown, just like the legends say. However, I think there's probably a strong chance that this was one of their friends because it pretty much looks and runs like a normal person in my opinion. It's following them for a while, but then it disappears at exactly 11 minutes and 3 seconds, which is strange, though it could be achieved with some simple editing. They reach their ride a minute later, and shortly before they peel off, this white piece of fabric flaps behind them. Maybe I was wrong about my earlier assumption about this being made up. Unfortunately, we never do get to see its face to tell if the eyes were fully black like the legend says, or not. Is this the floating soul of a departed one? Published by Frankly2112 in October of 2008, a ghost hunting crew encountered a strange floating orb while wandering through a cemetery at night. The light glows brightly at the center of what appears to be a semi-transparent figure. Then again, the apparent figure could just be the extension of the light's rays. As the cameraman pans away and back again, the beam moves quickly out of frame and out of sight. YouTuber Price Paranormal writes, It almost seems elemental or interdimensional. Others note that the light seems to materialize there and that it appears like someone holding fire in their hand. What do you think this is? Are the spirits alive? in this graveyard. I'd be staying far away from this place. Ring house. Do you have the guts to spend a night in one of the most notoriously haunted houses in the world? YouTube team Ghost Trip Investigation does, and they prove it by passing a scary event in the Conjuring House. Inside, their paranormal devices quickly capture some readings. Faulty. They don't just randomly go off. You can't clap. There's no remote. They have to physically... Can you now set that off again? Physically sense movement, guys. Oh! Shortly after, something is knocked down, but I failed to see what it is. That was knocked down. That's the first time Slime has ever done it. That was knocked down. Bet you've got to be literally touching it. No, really? Yeah. One of the devices is sensing energy, and it turns out to be strong. Please, there's energy close. It's not down, that is not down. That is tro- it's so It won't let me get near it. It won't let you get near it. Using a spirit box, they ask the demon some questions. <sighs> that whispered it. It whispered it? Yeah. No. One million percent. Just let it play. It said it. It does sound like it says conjuring there. Later, it's trying to get in. Trying to get in. Trying to get in. People trying said to trying to get in. Trying to get in. Okay. Here you go. Open the door. <laughs> Did they just open the door to a demon? They walk around outside, and for a moment, it sounds like someone is chasing them. Whoa! <laughs> Something loud, mate. Mate. Back inside, they break out a Ouija board, and it only draws the spirits in closer. Yeah. It's like the top of the table's twisting off its base. The bear, the bear, the bear, the bear, the bear, the bear, the bear. 
Shortly after this happens. Me, mate, I don't like this. Slowly take one hand off, Dan. Slowly take one hand off. Back off. <laughs> Did you capture that? Wow. This Did you actually for capture that? Yeah, this isn't for me. Well, that last bit could be explained by an uneven table leg. I'm not so sure about the rest of it. I think this house has a reputation for a reason. Number three. If you have a fear of heights, you might want to step away slowly from the edge of this video. El Camino do del Rey, or the King's Little Path, is a high walkway in Spain that traverses a narrow gorge in El Charro near Malaga. Originally built to allow workers at a nearby hydroelectric power plant to transport materials, the walkway was first constructed at the turn of the 20th century. Three feet in width and 330 feet above the river below, the walkway twists and turns around the steep walls of the gorge in a way that will make your head spin. It has been partially closed for more than 10 years after it fell into disrepair. In fact, it was once called the world's most dangerous walkway as five passings occurred. Across only two years, renovations allowed the walkway to be reopened in 2015. Going back to the original, by 2006, much of the path had deteriorated. Several sections of the original concrete had completely collapsed, leaving large open gaps only traversable by the steel beams. The handrails were pretty much non-existent, with only a safety wire in its steed. Regardless, Daredevil still walked the King's Path, and passings occurred regularly. Published in March of 2011 by AM, this video shows what it was like to walk the King's Path when it was in disrepair. The crumbling concrete stairs are guarded only by a short length of handrail. As the hiker makes his way upward, you can see the drop below is no joke. A single misplaced step can throw you hundreds of feet to your demise. Despite the risk, you can see why people put themselves in harm's way. The solitude surrounded by the glittering river below and the jagged rocks of the gorge is an experience worth having, not to mention the adrenaline rush of being a misstep away from passing on. Still, if your heart is pounding just by watching this video, I wouldn't recommend it. I certainly wouldn't do it either. This video was submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Gobs of Goblins. The Redditor wrote, kept hearing a weird inconsistent tapping noise coming from the ceiling. The attic is directly above my room. Caught one of the times it happened on video. Check the attic and nothing's there. Still kind of freaks me out. I can certainly hear what the Redditor is talking about. Check it out. <laughs> I know the Redditor checked the attic, but I'm thinking something has to be hiding up there. Not everyone is convinced, though. Gohan0912 wrote in the comments that they think it's squirrels or birds. So what do you think? Is there a stranger secretly living in this house? Or is the answer really as simple as Gohan thinks it is? Museum. Have you ever felt an evil energy you couldn't explain? The YouTube team North Shore Paranormal explores the Glore Psychiatric Museum. The museum is housed in the former State Lunatic Asylum No. 2, which opened in St. Joseph, Missouri in 1874. The museum sent me some historic photos, including this one I found the most chilling. This is the stomach contents of a patient here. As the North Shore Paranormal Team explores, the building soon becomes alive. Okay, that's the echo. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> After the EMF meter responds to their request, they move to the third floor, where they receive this worrisome message. On the second floor, they start to hear things. Did you just make that noise? No, no, not you. I heard a click over here, and now the EMF's going off. In one room, they notice two mirrors facing each other. This is often believed to be a vortex between two worlds, and that appears to come up in their communication. Are you scared of Violet? Vortex. Vortex? 
Vortex? Where's the vortex here? Am I standing in one? Would you consider those two mirrors? Oh my Oh my Perhaps the vortex has allowed spirits or energies to pass in and out of this haunting museum. They're in limbo, never able to return home. Because where is their home now? I can't answer that question, but I can say it's making me never want to leave mine. Some video grandma. Is this house haunted by a sweet little grandma? YouTuber Dennis of Dark Ghost Paranormal thinks maybe she's not so sweet. He quickly gets a reading on his K2 meter. And soon he doesn't need a K2 to detect this granny's energy. She starts making lots of noise off screen. Before long, she gets physical. It seems she has a message for Dennis. Something rattles inside the wardrobe. Dennis can't get away from it fast enough, and later it happens again. Grandma is all around him. He hears a whining sound. But at least this is just a cat. But later he feels like someone is watching him. And it seems that he is right. Друзья, я думаю, что мне 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 срочно нужно отсюда сейчас уходить. Because this happens. Just when you think this wardrobe can't take any more, <laughs> 
What does this grandma spirit want from poor Dennis? Maybe a change of clothing? I don't know the answer. That's probably why this is just yet another question that's puzzling the world. Do you like a good thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel? If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.